still two minutes. What? You're still two minutes. Oh. Okay. Are you done with that? No, soccer's not done yet, is it? No, I think Abba has a few more games, and then Lamb is doing football this fall, so I think there's two more games. But we still have travel softball and baseball on the weekends for the practice, because they hate them. But Emma gets her permit hopefully next week, so we're getting towards that. Oh, you think you look forward to that. Hey, can they still <laughs> drive someone in the family in the car with them? Yeah, so like Emma could drive yes. me and Landon. Oh, you mean but she when she just gets drive her license? When she gets her license? No, it used to be with the permits. They could like... I think you kind of know. Drive yeah. so yeah. And they have to be over 20. Like, you have to have somebody over 21. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Next to you that has a license. That wasn't the way it was when my kids were growing up. You could drive on a permit without, like, an older person in the vehicle? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's right. All right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So this, wow. I mean, even when my kids were in high school, I was 30 and 28. So. I'm 38. I had to have somebody have over, like, 21. Over. Yeah, same in the car with me that had a license for like over so many years or something. Yeah, so over 21. to go somewhere and everybody bring their own car, there'd be like 12 cars. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? Okay. okay. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Okay. Uh, well, welcome to the regular meeting of the Bethel Planning Board. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. This meeting is scheduled for 6 to 8 p.m. We would need a majority vote of the planning board to go beyond 8 o'clock. With that in mind, we have two items on the agenda tonight to consider. One subdivision amendment under new business and one communication regarding 44 Mayville Road. Before we proceed, I'd like to remind everyone that all questions need to go through the chair. So I'd like to declare a quorum. Wow. Full house. We're full house tonight. Um, have you all had an opportunity to look at the minutes from the last meeting on September 11th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the last. Oh, I guess you should ask if there's any changes. I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. No, that, that's... No, okay. no, no, no. Right. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes Thank from you. the last meeting. Thank you. Okay. Any, any questions or I, amendments? I abstain. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Mitch Rosen, you have a lot of time, so you guys put it in. I've changed it, yeah. Okay. Um, communication. <clears throat> so, Dan, are you going to do this? So, look, this is a bit unusual, but I actually like it. Um, Danny's representing uh, Aroma Joe's, and he has some questions for our board. And we can't really ask Danny a lot of questions about the project, because he doesn't have an application in yet. He's here to ask us, I think it's mostly, is it mostly architectural review? Yes. Yep. Um, for, for guidance from us to expedite the process when he does come with full application. So, go ahead. So, so, all right, so thank you for, for taking the time. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually here representing Michael Pelletier and Mark Paulin, who, who will be the ones submitting the application when the time comes. And neither of them could be here tonight. But I work for Mike, and so I'm pretty involved in this project. Um, and we're actually working with Rick on this project as well. So he's kind of on double duty tonight. Um, Good to but, know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, at, at, at kind of Rick's advice and, and Aroma Joe's advice, um, and based on what we've read in the architectural standards for the town of Bethel, we thought it prudent to seek some um, guidance or suggest, suggestions from you folks up front on um, the building itself mostly and the architectural standards surrounding that. Um, we know there's been some pushback in the past on some similar projects, so we just wanted to get out in front of it and see what we had to do to the to the design of the building, um, if anything, to 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 make um, everybody happy. So, okay. um, do you need a, a do you need any more question than that, or um, do you have an elevation view that you can? Have you? Have 
Yeah, they work. Sure. That might be a good idea. Or, oh, you're sure. talking about uh, yeah. other buildings. Yeah, yeah they, they work. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, did you distribute that, those elevations to everybody? This packet? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Um, We're going to look at open our books. Oh, yeah, these are going to play out of the Right. There's nothing actionable here tonight. Nothing actionable on this. Proposed structures shall be related harmoniously to the terrain and to existing buildings and in the vicinity with, which have a visual relationship to the proposed buildings. Special attention shall be paid to the bulk, location, and height of the buildings. Such natural features are slope, soil type, and drainage ways. I know it's very um, ambiguous, isn't it? Um, oh, building facade color shall be compatible with other buildings. This is on the next page. In the vicinity, standard corporate and trademark colors shall be permitted only in signage. Uh, and I'll go on. Exterior building materials shall be of comparable aesthetic quality on all sides of the building. Okay, so I think we're up to speed. Yeah, so if, if you look at the, um, the documents that I think Emma sent out to everybody. There's a couple of elevations on the uh, prototype packet that you'll see that show sort of the design of the building. And then there's also a hard copy picture um, that shows the colors associated with it. And that first page with that elevation is a good one to look at. And then page, uh, which is actually page six, and then page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have. You have a pitch and then a flat roof. Page 11, the pitch, the entire building as well. Is there any legible copies? Would there be more? Yeah. 
I can't. I can't. Yeah, but we only really need no, to, to look at. He's asking us to focus on this. Yeah. Yes. So it's a modified pitch. It's got a oh, flat roof. I'm on page 11 and I'm trying to look at numbers. Page 6. I'm also on page 6 and I can't read anything. I'm sorry. It's so Just blurry. looking at the design. Just at the design anyway. We don't need to know all the particulars. Okay. Very good. Chair, I'm sorry. All questions to the chair. Um, why are, what is the, what is the question on the table now? I mean, what, why are we looking at all this? Go ahead, Danny. Uh, essentially, to get some feedback on whether or not this would this this building design and color scheme would be approved. Is the, an Aroma Joe's is an Aroma Joe's. I mean, they're always the same, right? I mean, they're pretty much mm -hmm. no. a standard prototype. No, they have similar. a lot. Of, yeah, they're, they're very similar ones, but they have a lot of different models and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and okay. um, it depends on our code too. Yeah. Too. yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So that's the question. Well, and I just want to comment too. Like, it wouldn't be a Approved because it's communication, so it's a completely mm -hmm. like non decision making conversation. Of the mm -hmm. standard really doesn't have any like these are the colors we accept, this is the pitch we accept. So it's more of a hey, what are you guys looking for? Right, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. I actually like this process, we're not accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I'll, I'll, <clears throat> if I may, Chair, oh, please, chair, please. I'll please. speak for myself. I would not be comfortable with this uh, modified group standard where it's flat, but you've created a kind of pitch out front. I think it should be a pitched roof. Um, we've had some problems with the choice of materials in a couple of locations about they're trying to add an aesthetic of stone, but it's really not stone. It's something very fake-like, plasticky. I would say please stay away from that. Uh, you'll see structures on the street that have true stone facades. So do you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I don't want to be talking about other properties, but there is one that tried to mimic a stone that looks totally plastic. We don't want to encourage that because these were written post that development, at least in my mind. And I would say that, um, you know, uh, you're next to buildings that are of some tan, gray color base, and I would say that stark white is, you know, should be toned down to something like. Is that white, Danny? It or is yes. a white. It's yeah. a stark I've never white. seen a white on the white Joe's, have I? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of stark white. The one in Oxford or, Oxford or whatever, that it looks just like this. Yeah. I thought, I've never seen one that didn't look like okay. this. Um, yeah, and so I would take your cue from, you have, I know we're not supposed to be asking questions, so I'll say it this way. If the intention is for the small house to remain on the site, and that's gray, you want to be compatible with that, at least. Okay. And um, so the uh, trademark colors, which for you are that blue, are really limited to your signage kind of thing. So. And yeah, I would do what, um, try to incorporate the blue where it's going to matter most, in my opinion, associated with the signage. I mean, that's what people will look for. And I don't think it matters what the building is. And we're trying to create a uniform, not uniform, but a, um, we're not looking for cookie cutter, but we're looking for um, uh, not, uh, you know, trying to create a, um, uh, a quality look in a very prominent entryway road into our community. Yeah. I agree with you about the, the little house. And also, across the street, the that's, garage. that's light gray and white, right? The house, the Irving? That's like, Irving is not. It's more, it's more, more the beige. color of Walgreens yeah. and, beige. yeah, it's more the brownish yeah. beige color. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's probably more important for you to tie it into the little house, seeing it's on the same property. Um, well, there's a house and a garage that are the same color. Mm -hmm. Garage thing? The garage is, it will be moved, would be moved, yeah. Okay. yeah. What well, the garage moved, room? but still on the same side. as the house. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, moved on the, within the property. It's but so yes. hard to not ask questions. 
which I know. so that just summarizing yeah, it's cool? the color tone of the main building, it's the roof structure. I would be seeking to see mm -hmm. you do a complete pitch, mm -hmm. and it's not using imitation fake plasticky looking stone like uh, uh, aesthetics on the base, even though I think people yeah. think they're doing something nice, it, it's not very yeah. quality looking. Yeah, I know sometimes that, uh, I know with Dunkin' Donuts, they gave us like three different yeah. plans. And um, so it's, they've always, they always have, I think, a handful of plans that might be appropriate. Definitely, yep. Um, so. Paint like the movie theater and call it out. <laughs> or there's that. <laughs> just mural the whole thing and, and we have nothing to say about it. So. Well, thank you, Laurie. I appreciate that, yeah. that feedback. That's pretty consistent mm -hmm. from across the board, yeah. Yeah. Does everyone feel that way? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't feel... You don't agree with what we're saying, Bob? No. What do you think? It, the characteristic of the building, I see no problem with it. Um, a lot of the Roman Joes are designed like that. I don't know if they have any problems with the flat roof as far as leafage or anything like that. But so what? So they got. I don't think it's in our. I think it's in our ordinance. It is. We can't have a flat roof. No, we, it says may require. Oh, okay. No. Then, because we left it that way because. Oh, all right. Well, and we got it, and we've had everybody else oh, that wanted flat roofs do it. have pitched them. But yeah. it's not. It's not a requirement. It's not a definite requirement. Right. It's right. not a situation the where they the where board. you say they shall. Yes. Right. They may. Yeah. So you're right. The colors of the building perhaps don't particularly match that area. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the signage, though, is going to be the big thing yeah. because it's sitting back so far. Mm -hmm. um, that other building is going to be a problem as far as no noticing when they come through there that that, are, that that is there and how to get into it as far as the um, Right. Does any? Do you have any other questions for us? Um, those those were kind of the two red flags for me that you know we we want to make sure that we're not coming in with a fully baked application and right. you know that in there if it's going to be found objectionable objectionable as far as I think the roof is probably the bigger one because um, mm -hmm. I don't know if they have they, they do HVAC on top of the flat portion and then they hide that behind the. The, the false front with the pitch, um, and I don't I don't know. We'll have to check with the Roma Joes to see if they have a, a prototype that has full full pitch and mm -hmm. HVAC you know, ground mounted essentially because right. mm -hmm. they have a, a really small footprint on mm -hmm. purpose. It's you know get folks in and around and it fits in tight tight spots. Mm -hmm. Right. So the pitch and the color are the two main things. Oh, what is the height? Oh, we're not supposed to, but I'm assuming. Yeah, if, if I told you the height, that might help you, I think. Yeah. So. Well, it's feet. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to go there again. I'm sure it is. It's only one story. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's probably 20 foot. Yeah. 25 foot. They're, yeah. they're not a very large scale structure no. <laughs> in any dimension. It would look like a milk carton if yeah. it was 35 feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have 21 yeah. nine. Yeah. 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 21 what, feet 9 inches to yeah. the feet. Yeah, we're good. 20, 20 what? 21 feet, okay. feet 9 yeah. inches to the feet. I figured it was under, just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> we have to wait till the full. Um, I really do like. I wish we had an official intake process for a, a large project. So I think it would, it's almost nice to round table it, and but we don't. But I really appreciate 
you're coming in ahead of time. And so you're right, so you have a fully baked application. Yep, no, and I appreciate you guys reviewing the info and um, we will be we will be making application here in the next month or so. So um, we just wanted to get ahead of it a little bit um, and go from there. And if I did include in the um, in the packet there a, an initial draft of a site plan. So um, I'd love to have you kind of review that ahead of time too, just so you know what's what's coming down the road. Um, there will be changes to it. It's not a final copy, um, but the, the the gist of it is there. Um, what is the, what is it you particularly are looking for feedback about on the site plan? On the site plan, not, not necessarily anything in particular. Mm -hmm. um, we you know we, we plan to have the appropriate permits in place and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, okay. I think. Um, for my part, it would be red flags. You know, if you if you, mm -hmm. if you look at the site plan and you say, oh. I could, I could never dream of, you know, if, if there's something that jumped out that you're like, why, why did they do that? Um, I mean, you know, the those issues things are, are site plan, and I don't know if I can respond to this. You guys can respond to whatever. It was more a, let's just try to stick to yeah. the topic so that yeah. we don't yeah. go over an application that you don't have. You don't need to answer these. But the issue uh -huh. for me on the site plan is, what is going to be the location of the other structures that may remain on the site? Mm -hmm. You have residential properties butting up against one of your um, property lines. You're going to need, that is uh, something that will be looked at. And you will have the entry issue off the road, and you will, uh, which will be subject to MDOT. And you will have the car stacking, because we don't need to tell you <laughs> what that road looks like in the winter, backed up. To park, backed up all the way down the parkway. Down to Telstar. Down to Telstar, yeah. excuse me. Um, so you need to seriously, seriously address all of those issues. Um, I have a. Can you. Um, Rick, do you put these together? The application? Yeah, the packets. Yeah. Can you do, I don't know if an 11 by 17 will be adequate. If oh, you no, we do full-size plans when oh, it comes time. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was I get my little magnet. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't have to buy a thing about it. Yeah. It's going to be kind of detail at that size. We, we I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, need, we'll need that for sure. <clears throat> um, Make it big enough so we can read it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yes. I know it's a lot of money to do these packets. Mm -hmm. I know you're used to doing it, but. Yeah. When do you think you're going to be ready for the full? I, I think a lot of it probably depends on, on feedback we get from Maroma Joe's and a little bit DOT. That's yeah. still in the works. So that, I mean, that was. That was uh, one of our concerns too. We're going to make sure that DOT is good um, with it, and, mm -hmm. and there'll be a traffic movement permit. So that's you know that's got to be in the works at the same time as the, the rest. So yeah, month, assumed. couple months. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Yeah, we'll yeah. Probably definitely want to do a site plan. It just might be a little tricky. Oh, uh, a site walk. A site walk. So yeah. it just might be a little tricky if we get buried in snow. Yeah. Just, I'm sure we're yeah, I agree. <laughs> I believe if I walk last year, we had about three feet of snow, so it doesn't. Oh, that was the only snowstorm we got. Uh, <laughs> we found the one. Thank God we know a guy who plows. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty small site, so thankfully yeah. we're not like trucking over yeah, the, right. the mountainside, like on Black Summit or something. Like that. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I guess if you don't have any more questions for us. Oh, yeah. I hope yeah. that really was helpful. I do pay attention to the fact that you're bordering a street of residences. Yeah, it's good feedback. And that's that's you know that's really that's I think the value in this is yeah. before we're coming. A lot of towns will have a process. They'll call it sketch plan review. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of what we envision. It's not you know, we don't have a formal application in front of you, but we'd really like to have your opinion. Yeah. So that we can we can start to shape, um, you know, what the design and, and what the application will. Yeah, have. I like it. I don't know if everybody else does, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just telling them things that we've worked on before with other.
projects, you know, yeah. residents and mm -hmm. lower traffic and things like that are things we're always looking at. Yeah, so they're not committing to anything, but you're saying, hey, watch, watch out, watch yeah. for this. Mm -hmm. It can be helpful. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. So I guess we can move on. Now with all that flurry of trying to find, it this in the book, I lost my agenda. Somebody yeah. hold on to this paperwork though, yes. right, Sherry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. so. You <laughs> might as well. Sure. Well, we are going to pull out the Yeah. Yeah, probably you're right. We don't need to. I'm not likely. I can't well, read it. <laughs> oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. So now, under new business, um, we have Mayville Junction Subdivision Amendment. So, did you bring yours in? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Danny. Thank you again. This went through site plan a long time ago. Well, it was commercial. It, it did actually. When, it originally yeah, was approved for two buildings on the lawn, I believe. It, it, it but was it was subdivision and site plan. Subdivision and site plan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, it's just lot one need, we're working on? Can you? Or yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Self sure. storage okay. building, <laughs> the Bethel Bever, and because I got myself Me a too. turned around. Take, take, if you would, take on that map right there and tell us where um, where the new self -storage. Uh, Bethel storage is. Oh, you're going to put me to the test because I'm not it's right super on the other familiar. It's, 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 it's see where it is? Right there? Yes. Okay. Usually, yeah, I don't, I'm not driving by it. Because that's Buffalo anymore. Beverage, correct? Use, the that's Buffalo yes. Beverage right there. Um, using yes. that driveway. They so share an entrance. The other, the lot that we're looking at is between Buffalo Beverage and that ski shop. Sport Tonga. Okay, right? yes. Yeah. It's a very yeah. small piece of property. Hmm? Sport Tonga. So, so yeah. who wants to buy this? Sport I guess we can let Rick test us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just let Rick start. Lot lot two is the storage. Mm -hmm. No. Lot seventy, I think, is storage in it. No. Lot two is the storage. Lot on lot one, the existing building is Bethel Beverage. No. No, that no. can't be right. No. That's no. what I got myself no. confused. This should be Bethel Beverage. That's Bethel Beverage right yeah. there. So yeah. where is that on here? Because that map's not here. this map. Yeah, yeah. okay, so if you look at what, this why don't I, I back up? Because we, <laughs> we have we have kind of gone in a little bit disjointed. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can put some clarity to it. Um, okay. So uh, for the for the record and for, I guess we're televised now, and that's a big thing, and that's a recorder. Um, you know, I was announced before, but Rick Dutton with Mainland Development mm -hmm. Consultants. Uh, representing Dominator uh, LLC, that's mm -hmm. Dominic Gulieri's. He's done a lot of the development along that that stretch. Mm -hmm. um, was involved with, I think, Sportoma and, and some of the other ones. Um, so, 
get to. Here's the original, the original subdivision and site plan that was approved back in 2006. Rick, could you pull that whole thing sure. up here for the old people's eyes? Yeah. It's not like the TV can see it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. I got it. But there's only a few bills in there. So, I'm oh, sorry, okay. can we can we clarify which is which now? So, can we start along? I'm sorry, I'm looking at this here. Very dear so, zero. 70, 70, which is seven acres, is what? 70, 70. 70, yes. which is 7.0. Oh, Norm Clanton's? That's the that's Norm that's Norm's house. That's the big okay. uh, the big uh, and 72 dash two is the Bethel Beverage and the Glass Art Shop or whatever. Oh, are you looking at tax map? What are you looking at? Look at it. Something yeah, you provided. Section two. The the oh, go to go to go to this. No, no, that's that. flat. That's that's the previous. So we had, yeah, we had subdivision. a previous subdivision plan yeah. as a way of explanation of how we got here. Okay. And then a, a new plan, or a, an amended plan, and I'll, I'll go over why that's critical in a second. Okay. Um, that's the second plan. Okay, so... So this, this was approved by the board under site plan and subdivision uh, back in 2006. And um, I had seen a letter in the, the, uh, the cover letter to, to you folks I think we had said, I'm not really sure why this is subdivision because this was conveyed to an abutter, so that's an exempt conveyance. Uh, we thought more about it since, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got one dwelling, two dwelling, or potentially this is unit 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D. If this was planned to be residential, then, then these number of dwellings or buildings would eventually tally up to subdivision. So subdivision can be lots or buildings right, as well. Right. So I suspect that's what triggered at the time. Mm -hmm. um, so we have basically a, a, a two lot subdivision yeah. uh, where uh, this was defined at the time. This was planned to two units on this lot one. Lot two is what we're dealing with today. So we're taking lot two. But again, you have to be clear where Bethel Beverage is. So Bethel Beverage is currently on lot two. Okay. On so lot two. two. Oh. Okay. Lot two. No, because Plant never owned that piece. That was, that was, that was. Um, because where it says, so so see where it says existing building on lot one. This is what he wants. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one. Mm -hmm. That's and the original garage, which is now Bethel Beverage. That's what I mean. That's mm -hmm. the garage that, that um, yes. Bob, what's his name, across the street. Carter? Carter's garage yes. is the existing building on lot one. Lot yes. two is the, That's where, um, is the Bethel storage. Norm's house is the, is the, is the colonial the right after that. Huh? I believe that's Paul's house. Well, it's now Paul's, but it was Norm's. Yeah. The existing house that's on the land conveyed to Butter is uh, is Bear, Bear Haven, whatever. Yeah. And on lot one, where there's two buildings, there's only one building. Yes. And that's Old the Carter's garage. The proposed building was never built. <laughs> We're looking at multiple yeah. maps that are different here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. so yeah. He's going to try to clarify it for us. Yeah. Yeah. This has got the canvas in place here. You've got no, no. It's no. right no. where it no. says no. it's right by, I mean, on. Bubble beverage is a cannabis place. I believe. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Right. But that's yeah. where the daycare. Oh, the new cannabis place. That's right. It's in the crossing. It's yeah. in the it's, exist, it's, under, it's under existing. It is. Oh, because it used to be. So Why don't we want to do a presentation of them? I know. Everybody's. Yeah. Or, I don't know why it's so confusing. Yeah. Well, so it's it's not unreasonable to want to get oriented to what are the buildings yeah. there, how does it all fit together, right? That makes sense. I don't, I don't like Let me. I brought up Google. Oh, come on. 
Of course, it's gonna, it's gonna mess take it down, uh, take the, turn off your. Um, Jack is awesome, so it's not. You're right, Bob. Cool. I just don't know how to take it. Do you want me to do it? Or just nap nap wipe it down? Huh? You're right, nap. Can you help him? Nap is here. Make it for right? Nap, nap. nap goes down. I thought I'd right. right. right there. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Right. Right. Well, I think you just wipe it down. Physical therapy. And then I should say, like, no space. Where's nap? It's in that area. Oh, yes, no. no. This is this this building here is where the 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 uh, um, the, uh who? Yeah, in yeah. the in the park store, and then the Napa building is over in the Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And there we go. And yeah. there's okay. So let's yeah. hold on. Well, I just want to have that we're, yeah. we're all discussing yeah. the exact yeah. same thing. Yeah. We yeah. know yeah. where we are oriented. Yeah. So this is not like this at all. Yeah. No. This is the Napa. This is where the yeah. two, the Bethel Beverage and the yeah. Glass Shop yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Shop yeah. That's okay. there. That's not there. So the Napa is over here. No. Yes. And this is where those other shops are here. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So this, this is all for the body. This is 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 This that This is 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 no, it does has been divided and changed and other yeah. things yeah. Yeah. Different yeah. Yeah. So this is This This is lot one. No, I think yeah. that's sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, this is that's the Bethel Beverage and that is this yeah. building. Right that right is the sports hall. Yeah. This is yeah. where the new Napa is yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah. And all yeah. where that fits yeah. on the these lots. Yeah, and so that's, tell us what the yeah. <laughs> so this lot right here I the is now the is the new storage. Yeah. So yeah. That's yeah. on the yeah. that's that that's, uses this down yeah. Someone yeah. else approved that. Storage okay, I'll take that back. Two, yes, two yeah. was storage. No, no we did no, that. You wasn't here. Can't have another town. See what happens when you're out of town? Other visual things, and we put a storage facility. Well, we so have no we control of the use. We have okay. no zoning. No. Okay, so. Yeah, so we It's a good looking storage area. <laughs> the last thing we need in the world is another storage area. <laughs> He's able to yeah. people say so that. they fill them, but then they fill up, and you think, where does all this stuff come from? Yeah. 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 All right. So, so are we making progress? Right. progress okay. Lot so I think we're making progress. I misspoke. Um, yeah. Lot lot two is storage. Lot one is what we're talking about splitting again into smaller lots. So lot one okay. was originally two point uh, six three. Yeah. Two point six yeah. three eight or something like that. Just uh, Bethel Beverage is currently there, mm -hmm. and what he'd like to do is split that in half and, and have this saleable as another, another lot. And it's clear right now. It's been mowed. Yes. 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 Yeah. So I want right. But he de did have, in site plan, he did put another building in there that he never built. Um, next to Bethel Beverage? Yeah, yeah. site plan? I'm not sure I've seen that building. It's old, really old. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it was yeah. planned, but now he's trying to Never put, happened. The, put the division between. Yeah. yeah. So I and think the, the scheme varies sometimes between do I do I build a pad and lease it? Uh, in which case I you know I keep the lot as one, it's my lot, mm -hmm. and then and then you're you know the, the person the business comes in as a lease lot, or mm -hmm. do you market this as a, a lot for purchase? Um, where someone's going to come in and, and do their own commercial thing. Um, and Sports Toma is the one right next to it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sports Toma. Right. So it says existing pounds. Mm -hmm. That was what Sports Toma. No, that house was originally uh, How much acreage? So it'd be another 2.6? Or the whole the thing is 2.6. Total lot is 2.6. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're looking to split it into 1.36 to go with double beverage. Mm -hmm. And then 1.27. Okay, just to so throw another wrench in this. There are two condominiums. They were, and they were for sale uh, many years ago on top of Bethel Beverage. I'm not sure if they ever sold or if he just rents them. What do what you know have, this? What does that have to do with the well, ownership? Or, well, subdivision is affected by 
number of units. It, standing. It, so this is already subdivision. Um, so I, I'm with you. I'm thinking through what bearings that have. Um, standing? Because uh, then they own. I can go check the tax records, but I think we only bill. Dominic? So. I can go pull it up. They What's were the intended to be mm -hmm. condominiums for sale. I remember we had them for sale, mm -hmm. but I don't remember if we ever sold them and if he just decided to rent them. So they would have to be condominium docks. They would have to be docks. And they would also have to be at least 80% of the association to vote on this and get this through before this could ever happen. If, if the entire land area was part of that. Right. Condominium. And that was supposed to be more, in the next building, more condominiums yeah. and more retail. Same as a duplicate. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whatever came of that. Um, that's oh, a great question. Sold, did they? I showed I, them I, a couple did times. Did you? Yes. Well, so I, our they, surveyors they, did their they, research right. in and out from, from, you know, with Dominic as the grantee, grantor, right, chain of title. Um, no, it's not, it's not like title insurance, but um, they, I presume that they would have come across the, the locking up of that lot in condominium adopts. It would have shown up as, as a recorded mm -hmm. instrument. Um, and so what, what's been presented here by, by our survey team mm -hmm. is that this is a one whole lot owned by, owned by Dominic. Um, my presumption then is that uh, Bethel Beverage uh, has to own, has to lease that from from uh, Dominic currently, mm -hmm. and then we've got a deed in the packet that shows he he owns the, the lot. Right. Um, so that's that's you know should be his, his standing. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that in, in, I, I I'm ninety nine percent sure I'm correct on this that was originally signed and looking at the stuff that was originally signed with those. When that near duplicate was proposed, it was one entrance, and it was permitted for one entrance. To the whole lot. To the whole lot. And then mm -hmm. I would, I got a hard time dealing with another entrance in an area that was already getting an extensive amount of problems. Yeah, the beverage place shares an entrance where they would sell storage. Now. Now. I mean, we accomplished something positive there. We accomplished there. something positive there. That entrance was taken out years ago, and to be, as that mirror duplicated that other building, was supposed to use the same entrance. And I think if, if this is, was to go through, that should stay as using the same entrance. Did you learn anything? Uh, only one person is billed on taxes for that. I don't know if those ever got sold. If she's the only one person is billed on taxes. Well, that doesn't mean anything. No, it would be. Oh, maybe. Yes. They would pay their taxes. Well, well the yes. If they would be a warranty. If it was done right. They would be a record as a separate property owner. So it looks like it is just rentals. I believe they I think. They ended up staying So yeah. let's yeah. assume that that's, that's the case for the time being so we can move <laughs> forward. Um, this was originally approved, approved as a subdivision on a state plan. Okay. I can't, I mean, I haven't found anything else. So, so that, that's what we piece together is that if, if this is going to move forward, that even though it's a split of one lot and a lot that's existed <laughs> for over. Uh, five years, which normally you you know you have your reset, but if it's part of an original subdivision plan, that's forever amen. Coming back to you folks as an amendment, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and so that's that was the the uh, the frame of reference for you know everything in the application. Is we're assuming uh, we're not we're not assuming it was part of a, an original subdivision plan, and now needs to be amended if it's going to move forward. Mm -hmm. okay. So then. Um, we then prepared the package uh, with an eye toward what do you what do you need for uh, for submittals and what thing what submittals are superfluous based on uh, the fact that it's already been part of the subdivision. Uh, so, for example, like the letters to I F N W and M H P C and all that kind of stuff is you know it's that's been been there and done that kind of thing and it's part of a you know a 
a strip there that's... So are you asking for a waiver on that as part of the application process? Um, I, I wasn't planning on asking for a formal waiver other than uh, I think that probably you could take the, the historical information uh, into account and, and check that, that particular standard as like... A formal request to do that, if that's what you're asking of us. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be made verbally, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. that we need to have a it formal has, request. Yeah, on, if you're point. asking us to say, please don't ask me to redo this part of the application process, and we have the ability to waive application standards. Right? Or, or if you think it's it's NA because uh, it's already been reviewed by those agencies back in the original subdivision. That's up to you. If you think that, that it needs to be a waiver. Then. Well, how, when we do a <coughs> modification in subdivision, I mean, if you all refer to 150-9 at the right-hand bottom, it says amendments to approve plans, and it tells you in there what you can and can't do. So it's 150 dash 7. Yeah. And 7. <laughs> That's weird. It does say we can determine if substantial changes to the group plan will occur in the application. Which book is it in the location? Um, it's on page 150-10, right up here is what we're reading right now. Special location of roads or change in lots on by 50%. So yeah, it says relocation of a road or a change in lot by 50%. That's 50%. Substantial changes would include. Yeah, because you're splitting. So are we? So what you're trying to determine whether it needs to come before the board for full application for instead full of application. Instead and, of and, and according to this, is, is if it's over fifty percent difference, then yes. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's an amendment either way, but it would be do you require the the all of the middles that would come with a new application? It's not an amendment. It's just substantial changes would include changes such as relocation of roads or changes. The lot size by 50 percent, or changes in overall drainage. Mm -hmm. and it changes drainage. It changes the lot size. Mm -hmm. But then at read C, if it's determined that substantial changes are proposed, they need to submit which plans, which they have done. You're just asking for a waiver of certain submissions to the state around uh, the. I'm not even sure if I'm asking for that waiver. I was okay. I was explaining why um, there there's fewer submittals in this yeah. package than might be in a brand new raw raw okay. land. Okay, but I mean, if you this are asking not to, to have to do change. something, then you, in the app, in the normal materials we receive, you have to request it by way. Ask us to make a waiver of that standard. If you feel that that's the case. Yeah. <coughs> and you're also proposing a new curb cut. It's, it's, it, if you go to section 5, go to the last page, it talks about um, uh, there's an existing paved apron leading onto the proposed lot 72 1-1B, uh, but it says that the uh, bituminous curb has since been installed. Yeah. Now, was there a Right away in there from the MDOT. Uh, so DOT owns to the to the property line, and so they they curved across uh, this entrance right here. So there was an entrance. There was an entrance into that side of the of the original lot. Then yes, originally, and now yes. they curved over. That's what you're saying. So they exactly right. so they, they curved over. They closed the it aspect of. Now the other question is: Did they ever get a, a did that go 
whatever you want to call it, did they get permission to put a driveway in there? Uh, driveway entrance permit? Yeah, at, at the, on the original lot. So what, what we've done on this is, is tackled it in a couple different directions. Because obviously, if, if you guys approve subdividing this lot uh, in, into two, then we have to be able to prove that there's viable access to the lot. So we, we've submitted an entrance uh, permit application to the DOT pending. Um, and I think probably because it doesn't meet their normal standards for, for spacing, I think it's going to follow a process of waivers if it's granted. Um, if it's not, then this this lot would have to share entrance with that's 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 Yeah, but that's yes. not my question. My question is, when that original subdivision went in, it seems like, by reading your statement here, that there were two accesses granted on that one piece, on that one piece of property by the state, because you have the one that's existing there now, that's just being used, and according to that paragraph that you have in here, there was another one, but it's been, it's been, they put the curve down to it. Is that well, right? There, yeah, that is were correct. there two what? or one? Yes, yeah, so my two question is, were two. was there two there or not? Then if, do you still have the paperwork for that? If, they, if you have two, then it's granted already. But if the so, state closed it, it's closed. So the reason state that was closed, there was, back in the day when Carter had his garage, that was a loop driveway. There was two entrances into that. The state did close that off as an entrance. Is there paperwork to prove that? We can ask the state. That I can't tell you, but I can tell you mm -hmm. that that was a loop driveway and it did get shut off. Yeah, state. but it, you don't know, without paperwork, you don't know what the reason was. No, I don't. So, and, but I do know that. So. It could have been that they just when they put the new road down through there, put the curb down through there, and they, they nobody don't do about. that without... Yeah, they do. They, they I do, do, re, I do right remember uh, driveway over there at, at the auto station one time. I had to go after to move it. I do remember that when there was a lot of talk when that was being proposed, that it was supposed to be a shared driveway, a, a one entrance going to both units. Yeah, and that's... And, and Honestly, I, don't, I can't speak for the board. I, I it would be that. my pleasure that there would be still Absolutely. one entrance for both buildings because this was done 18 years ago and we were concerned about traffic and we have much larger concerns about traffic if, if, now. If that's the case, you would want to move it. Of yeah. You would want to move it. To it might need to be relocated, yes. Relocated. But the problem is it's now shared with the self Storage. storage. Oh. So he's got oh, yeah, some yeah. very su specific limitations. Mm -hmm. They might have to have the entrance into that lot go around the back. Use that the same be. shared thing and mm -hmm. go. Yeah, well, there's no reason they couldn't. Rick, how, how, yeah. how would that work? Is that? So right now we don't have the specifics of what wants to be developed there. So it's, we're not we're not in a site plan review where we get to have all the details where we say, well, it's clearly they're going to go up behind the building and then come in in this way. And for right now, it's just, is there a way to access this lot so that it can be divided and then sold uh, as, a, as a buildable lot? And what I'll share with you is that when, when for, for the uh, DOT entrance application that we made, we did not... Uh, stick with this entrance location. So it was curved over, we said that's probably dead, and it probably makes more sense to be set over for, for spacing-wise between these three. If they were to approve it, we assume it would be on this side of the lot. Um, and we're, we're waiting to hear. That can be something that, that um, uh, you can weigh in as a board and say, we really only want one entrance, or if DOT's okay with it, then I guess then that, you know, that that must be okay, um, but that's those are the two scenarios that I would see uh, taking place. Either they access from here and have some um, mm -hmm. some access across this lot, mm -hmm. uh, which would be granted. And that's part of the subdivision plan. Is a note uh, eleven, and I'll I'll just read it for you. The old driveway on lot one D is shown appears to have been discontinued. Lot 1D will have an access easement through the existing entrance on Lot 1A and along the tape parking in front of the existing building on 1A to the southerly side of Lot 1B. Said easement will terminate when and if a DOT en entrant approved entrance 
is permitted and installed on lot 1B. So basically there's, there's a uh, descriptive easement on this plan as a provision for yes, DOT entrance is allowed or no, it's not. Mm -hmm. But that, that new location wouldn't be here in either, in either event. What we've applied for mm -hmm. is, a, is an entrance. Uh, right when do you here. expect DOT to weigh into this? Um, I think probably pretty soon. They're, they're, they're pretty reactive. So, I mean, I, for me, I can't make any further decisions about this till we understand how DOT is considering this uh, in light of all the traffic on Route 2, um, these, uh, you know, successive curb cuts are a real issue in that area, and I would not be comfortable uh, taking any action on this application until we have formal correspondence from MDOT. I, I, I feel the same way. I think it's too um, overriding MDOT. Is, is a really big deal for us if we do that. So it kind of banging our heads against the wall on this one with with MDOT. We, I think I I'm concerned about two cur an extra curb cut. Does how does everybody else feel about this? Have we ever approved things without MDOT approval when it's retail before? But there's no, we don't know what this so And that proposed use could be yes. intensive, it could be not intensive. Right. right. At that point, it would have to come back in front of the board. And for it may be that MDOT, without a use, is mm -hmm. not going to approve a commercial right. lot entryway. Well, they've, got, they've got an application right here. Yes. Yeah. I know, but I don't think yeah. MDOT yeah. is going to approve it. And, and then use. theoretically, you've got stakes yeah. over there where the entrance, where you want the entrance. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. So you want the entrance to the to the right, right? Oh, but I don't understand how DOT can make a decision because yeah. you go to higher levels of review if there if the use has certain yeah. trips per day and that kind of thing. Exactly right. We'd have to come back to DOT, as, just like we'd have to come back to the board in more detail. Okay. They would have to go back to DOT with, with uh, an amendment to that entrance permit to say, all right, we're generating X number of trips per day, um, and, and what does that mean for, uh, so, for this? So, I mean, until MDOT weighs into this, they, I don't think we should act on this. So, I, I, would, I would like to inject a couple of things. One, spending a bunch of time at at um, the PT place, Saco Bay. Saco Bay, and listening to them say how many times they hear their tires screeching from people trying to stop. I think that plays a big part. The other thing is looking at the original stuff on the on the conditions and the notes mm -hmm. from the original subdivision. Um, uh, and, and maybe this is going to play a part in things, but number three, the first floor retail spaces are not part of the subdivision, um, and any residential uh, residential occupation. Well, I can't speak tonight. Occupation is strictly prohibited without approval from the board. I had this all read. And now I'm reading again. And now I'm changing my mind. Permanent reference, on the, uh, the subdivision plan shall be filed. That's not the case, hold it. Where did I lost it? Uh, uh, I can't find it out. Oh. Uh, main, C Main Department of Transportation Driveway Entrance Permit for this project dated May 30th, 06, <coughs> permit number 4504. Do we have that? What was it later? Uh, you can May 30th. May 30th, 06, and it's number 4504. And then each building of lot one shown is a 60 by 50, not including decks, consisting ground level floor retail and two three bedroom residential condominium units to designated A, B, C, and D. That's what was approved. So an identical building to what's there. Yes. Mm -hmm. But how could MDOT give a permit to just 
But maybe they do, just to an empty lot. I well, that it wasn't. Know. This was supposed to be one lot. But I mean, in the for, for the new one. I can't see how. How can they do that? What I if it's know. a Robert Joe's? You know, it's yeah. It, it, it would be a generic, a generic entrance. They do do that. Yeah. Um, which. And then once you have your traffic data, you know, if it was a single-family residence, you would come in and say, "Hey, I want to, I want to do a single-family right. residence on this." On this entrance, and then so you say, okay, thumbs up or thumbs down. Right. If you wanted to do a normal Joe's there, and you're generating, you know, more than 100 trips mm -hmm. per day, then you're in the traffic movement permit. They're going to review all the things, and they might say, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. you so can't it's basically use that entrance for that buyer purpose. beware. Get your permits before you complete your purchase That's and what sale. Is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, depending on your use, right? Like your your traffic mm -hmm. use, your traffic generation. I, uh, I think I'd be more. Con I I, mm -hmm. I think. I'd like to see a motion to table this until that's, that that's permit where is. I was, yeah. um, um, yes, I have the original permit. Mm -hmm. what, I'll make yeah. a motion to. Uh, can to, we do that? Do we want your yeah. to well, I will say that in the original subdivision, it was approved that. Um, that lot two mm -hmm. was an un unimproved lot. Yeah, so I don't know if that second building actually ever. No, came. Lot, lot two is. Lot two is where storage, storage is, is now. I know. Oh, okay. All right. Where, where um, this is all lot one, one. Okay, so Mitch has a. So, what uh, do you want to know about this? Or do they say in there that they discontinued the. They would know. Well, they discontinued it after approval. So, it won't say it in there. So, this would have been approved in 2006. When did they redo the road? No, but Not DOT would have. I'm not saying they would have. Would they have said this is going to be lot one is going to be one entrance, not two? Well, that's what um, we'll figure out when they uh, deal with this. Well, I, I, I'm trying to figure out if it, if it says that in the DOT permit. Well, they DOT, have to go back to the DOT to and back. find out. Mm -hmm. find She's got it right there. No, it doesn't. No. That, that, no. That's the original one where it established. The one lot. Right. This so was all. Now you're looking forward to find out if they disestablished the entrances and when they mm -hmm. built the new road. And Correct? what, what with a subdivision, what would they allow for entrance? Well, they did. They did. They discontinued it mm -hmm. on this, on the on the 06. Mm -hmm. It shows approved driveway, grass strip, grass mm -hmm. strip, grass strip, all the way across. Okay. He, he's got to go um, back to DOT and find out. Yeah. But aside from that, I fully agree. What was this parcel in the original? Okay. Okay. So Mitch, so Mitch has made a motion. No, second. Second. Uh, okay. Um, all in favor of tabling this? Is there a discussion on it? Uh, yes. Oh. Is there a discussion? Is there any discussion? No. Okay. I thought we could discuss it again. <laughs> you... is it. Is it welcome for me? Yeah. Okay. Um, it sounds like, like um, most of the board is concerned with the entrance in that mm -hmm. traffic, would it be reasonable uh, for you folks to have a finding that you just don't want, you don't want a second entrance? And um, there, there's provision on this plan essentially for. I know, you're talking about an easement. Yeah. And so, you know, we could basically abandon the, the DOT effort if there are two separate entities there's DOT mm -hmm. and then there's you folks. Mm -hmm. DOT could approve an entrance, you could feel. Differently uh, than DOT, and you can you can make your own decision on is this a, an appropriate entrance or not. If you're feeling like it's not, then it may be a re requirement of the board that you shares the entrance with Bethel Beverage. Oops, well, what, on, what, on the other plan. What, what I don't understand in all of this, it, it's like it's, uh, I don't know, pick a cliche: the horse is out of the barn, or the cat's out of the bag, or whatever. <laughs> but what I, it. If this indeed, this is the storage mm -hmm. yeah. unsightly thing, God only knows why. Mm -hmm. that's but anyway, and this is the shared driveway for that. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand is if this was a split lot, why did this get its own driveway? It wasn't a split lot at the time. It wasn't it was a split lot. It was all one lot. Because yeah. the split lot for Bethel Beverage and the glass, whatever that other shop is, should be, and this lot should be in here for the two of them. And they 
should have their own thing. I know, but we were trying. But you can't to tell them that after the fact, right? right? right. That's what no, we because we had no idea that they were this looking to forward. subdivide this lot no. when we dealt with the storage. Problem. It was not on the table. So, so it would simply be three buildings now sharing that entrance, which is what it should be. But I don't know how, how, I don't understand how you possibly can do that because if these it's people. A, it, you'd have a deed right away across that tax. If, if, this, was, if a, this was proved, we'll call it 1B to the right, you would have entrance the existing in here. And they're going to drive there. across this driveway to get to whatever's going to yep. be over there. And that's right away. And we don't know what's going to be over there. We have yeah. no clue. But, but if right. you've ever been in the Bethel Beverage thing, that space that's in front of the building with parking and other kinds of things, that's un not good. There's also plenty of room to go I don't know about you guys, but like the fish truck. Yes, I use that fish truck. truck. And, and the fish trucks all the time stay there, so what's going to happen with the fish truck? But we have no clue what's going to go in here. Is no. that right? Right. No. I mean, somebody potentially could buy it and never develop it. That's that. It's probably. No, so it's there's not, not enough information. So, no. we've, we've got a motion on the table. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. What if DOT comes back and says you can have another? Driveway. Would the board say well, no, we don't want that? We can override. We can override that. Yeah. Okay. We, have we, city, don't, we have our own traffic safety we don't love standard. It. Right. We don't do it often, but uh, we don't like it. Um, but I do feel I, I I actually feel two things. I feel like I'd like to act on this <laughs> on this. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to act on this motion, and <laughs> um, I'd like to see one entrance. For the, for the whole, but I think I'd like to do a site look because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I I I know this property all so well. But on the other hand, all of a sudden I'm, I haven't looked at it. I'm thinking of it right, exactly. Well, we need to see where they would like if there is a new entrance, exactly where it is, and how it flows in. Well, that's a rather than yeah, I right. mean, no matter how well we know it, unless they show us the markings and kind of we have to know what walk it out. And it's all heavily dependent on what would be in that space. I mean, that right. makes a huge difference. But I think, well, I, I agree with the motion at the table, we should order that, but one final again. thing is that we're all in agreement, and I'm not a traffic engineer or anything else, but I do think that they might, I, I should, we're all agreeing, but I certainly agree myself and believe that we should minimize the numbers of driveways on and off Route 2 for public safety issues. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rick, are you ever here on the weekends? In the no, yeah, it's usually. terrible. It is now we are getting traffic backed up from Sunday River to Tall Star. Yeah, Blue Bird Saturday well. after a big snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, don't it's, come. It's well, not. The backed up traffic so, is not so bad as, as heavy flowing okay. and then people coming in and out. So you, you turn, you turn yeah. around and take a four o'clock on a Sunday after yeah. Yeah. Saturday yeah. afternoon. They're, they're trying to come down through there. They are. Yeah. And you yeah. throw the yeah. tractor trailers yeah. in, you yeah. throw everything else in. All right, so we voted on the ticket. No, we didn't. Okay, but I, I have another question. Is there any way that we can, if we, we're talking about tabling it, but then have a site walk, and that would give you time to get the MDOT permit in? It would potentially, yeah. I mean, is there, <coughs> Courtney, I need your help with this. But sure, why would we be doing a site walk if we have no clue of what would be going in here? And we all kind of, we know right, this. Right. I mean, what's the site walk going to tell us? It's, it's I've never heard Okay, it's gonna let's table it. Well, okay, no, let's vote on tabling it. Everyone, it's, are we done with the discussion? Oh, yeah. oh, no, Rick wants to discuss some more. I'm going to push, I'm going to push okay. everyone's patience. Um, instead of tabling, we know we have an issue on, on traffic. Would it be possible to go through the rest of what's been submitted and look at, do we have, like, I, uh, like no. 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 I want to move the question. <clears throat> no. So let's, let's okay. move the question. Okay, so no, no further feedback until right. traffic is started off. Yeah. Right. Unless right. your applicant wants to make his own decision about access. In other words, I'm not going to wait for the planning board to tell mm -hmm. me I can only have one. I'm going to ask my consultants to propose a plan with one. That's an option for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, so. Well, again, if, if the board wants to require that, um, he's certainly ready to and have to made provision for it even on this plan. I don't like the east <laughs> going in front. Like oh, hold on. Way. Yeah. I think that no way. we need to think more about it. Um, so we have a motion. We have a second. Uh, all in favor of tabling? 
we wrote, this was the second time we hadn't raised our hands. And stuff on it. All the same. Did we do that? <laughs> Rick, I'm so sorry. I, and I felt it's chaotic, didn't it? And right from the start, because we couldn't figure out what we were looking at. Yeah. I know, and we were... Um, so with the, with the tabling... Um, Wait for you to come back with a reformatted plan yeah. or an and, 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 and DOT's letter. Okay. Right. So we want to know what they would do if they got a request, and we also want to know whether you want to propose something different. Right? Well, not only that, but he'll also find out if that other curb cut is, is, is valid or not. It could be you already have a curb cut there and can use it. It could, or it could be they moved it. They yeah. could have said, okay. So you need to do, do that one. research yeah. at yeah. DOT. Yeah. So and, and it could also be that the board yeah. just doesn't want to entertain a DOT entrance either, either way. Which, I, mean, I mean, I think well, if there's a legal one in existence, it's going to be a problem associated with the, that's Bob's point, associated with the previous subdivision. So you got to do that research sure. and bring all that information yeah. back to us. And then uh, sidewalk would then, are you still thinking about sidewalk? And um, do that? Well, well, I think right depending now. on what you're proposing, if you're proposing, if you come back to us and propose a different entry model, we would want to take a look at that probably on the ground. Yeah, that might be decided at, at a following meeting, mm -hmm. whether this yeah. is or not. Right. Mm -hmm. Madam Chair? Yeah. Can I make a motion that we return to the agenda? Yes. Do we have that motion? <laughs> <laughs> we, we shouldn't. I should, you should just say, Madam okay. Chair, but can you do your job? <laughs> Thank you all. Sorry, Rick. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we'll see you. Yeah. Okay. Any old business? Um, other business? So we have a meeting on October 22nd. You know that? Um, yeah, 23rd. 23rd. Oh, excuse me. I can't read without my glasses. Here. I, I apologize. Just for that purpose. I can't find my agenda. There you yeah. go. So that's where you should be aiming for. Yeah. Here's your yeah. Right. Okay, so I. You two can find out who wants to do. Second, wait, wait, wait. Can we look? Can we look at um, November twenty seventh? Which I'm Stephen for Thanksgiving. Oh, son of a bitch. Our second meeting in November is the night before Thanksgiving. That's what I just said. I'm trying. I won't. Yeah, we usually don't do it. We need to vote on it. I won't be here. Is there going to be business? Do we know? This is. We have to we never get a quorum. So, um, so can I get a would someone like to make a motion? I would like to make a motion. We cancel the November twenty seventh meeting. I've got a second. I'm All in favor. <laughs> okay. We need to vote on our adjournment. Should we don't have to vote to adjourn. Oh, we don't. Oh, could, 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 would you like to be cancel December twenty third? The, the Christmas one also. I was going to say, what is the next one then after November Christmas. 13th? What would be the next one? Oh, the next, the next one after the November would be December 11th. December 11th. And then I would like to propose we cancel the December 25th. But we're not, oh, we don't have it on the 23rd. It's not on the agenda yet. We can have a Christmas party here. Oh, Christmas we could do that on December 11th. We're oh, <laughs> just saving it now. I'm sorry, you ripped it. We don't have, yeah, we're adjourned. Do make a motion? I do it, okay. New rules. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs> We've been voting on that all this time. Now that you're adjourned, the chair just did. Who are you?